Hello, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay, good. Thank you. I'm sorry, I was in the wrong chat. <laughs> I was in a different <laughs> chat. I said, no, don't worry. I said, this is strange. Why is no one on? <laughs> okay. How are you? I'm doing good. What about you? I'm 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 odd. Really? You sound so much better, Susanna. I'm happy for you. Yeah, thank you. I'm still have a cough, but I'm really okay right now. I don't feel like I'm dying. <laughs> you don't feel, yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm, but definitely so much better. A lot of medicine. Yes. Help. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. Let me open the portal. And how was day number three today, Irma? Oh, today was great. Good evening. Thank you so much. Good uh, evening. Today, um, we talked with the operation manager. Okay. And he was explaining about the account. The account has four brands. I am looking forward to start. <laughs> okay. So it ha there's four accounts. Wait, wait no. There's four what? Brands. Okay. Gap, Banana Republic. And I, there are two more, but I don't remember now. <laughs> mm, I remember there, Gap. There are four brands. Oh, okay. And it's no only clothes at all. In Banana Republic, there are furniture. furniture. There's what? Furniture. Furniture, really? There's Banana Republic well. furniture? Uh, muebles? Yes, furniture. Huh? Okay, so repeat it after me. Furniture. Furniture. Okay, that's very good. You said it in three syllables. Say it in two. Furniture. Furniture. Okay, furniture. Now, now, furniture. Furniture. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, cool. Hey, I told that is no class mm -hmm. today because I I was trying to to go in, but I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh no, no, but there was yeah, we're okay. Okay, and today we finish the the course. Yes, we do. Hmm. And I really thank everyone, for example, Nidia, Susan, Irma, Joanna, the people who have always been active in class. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Do you want to see the love of my life? Yeah. Uh -huh. Show us. Okay. Is my camera? Uh, the camera you were telling us yesterday. You <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you kidding? That's the camera that you uh was telling us yesterday. Oh no. Oh, that when I bought them. No, you know, but actually, I did buy it there. Uh huh. In the stores, yes. But I have bought like five cameras there. <laughs> So every time, like I, I pass, your and, life. <laughs> yes, but don't tell my wife and my son. <laughs> <laughs> you know, God I mean, YouTube knows that. Huh? My camera se llama La Niña. <laughs> Great name. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, when we go, hey, cuidado que llevo la niña. Don't touch me. Tengo la niña. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so remember yesterday we were talking about phrasal verbs. You cannot learn all the phrasal verbs. 
because they're very difficult. But you can learn basic phrasal verbs, correct? Perfect. But in conclusion, what is a phrasal verb? It's a word with a, it's a verb with a preposition. Exactly, a verb with a preposition. That verb can give us uh, one or more meanings. No, I was going to ask you, you why don't you give me some? Ustedes ya usan uno y se ponen a pensar. Aquí no se puede parquear, aquí solo es para pick up. Pick up. Ah, yeah. Yeah, pick up. Sí. It's not the car. Pick up is what? Solo para ir a recoger, right? Pick up. Hmm. Oh, that is why the name is pick up. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's where the, the word pickup comes from. I got a question. Mm -hmm. um, what we know from uh, for a pickup, how do you say in English? I mean, that the, the, the vehicle, 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 vehicle. Usually it's a people, truck? people say truck, yes. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. I use that word a lot, so I had to not. So always I. I I, I use vehicle because mm -hmm. I never know what it is. Yeah. Is a, a truck, a van, or whatever? Yes, it's a truck, or some people say pickup truck. Oh, all mm -hmm. right. Truck, like shoes, like the shoes. No, truck. T-R-U-C-K. Okay. Truck. Truck. Mm -hmm. That's why Mexican people troca. say la troca, la troca, la troca, <laughs> la cora, <laughs> el gringo. Do you know why? Why? What is gringo? Gringo. Yeah. Ajá. Uh -huh. Váyanse verdes, gringos. <laughs> Did you know that story, Susan? No. Okay, because before Texas, Arizona, California, all that was Mexico. Mm -hmm. Hay gente ignorante que piensa que Estados Unidos le quitó la tierra. Y no, Mexico la vendió. Mm -hmm. So the stupid person was there, was the Mexican president. Saber en cuánto mm -hmm. la vendió. <laughs> Y Estados Unidos, que como siempre, aprovechando. So, no, uh, so when Texas, California, y todo eso pasó, said United States, the soldiers, they were in green, uh -huh. saying, hey, this is not Mexico no more, my answer. So when the soldiers came, the Mexican people decían, hey, gringo, gringo, gringo. Fuera verde, vayan. Oh, shit. <laughs> gringo away. Yeah, gringo away, yeah. De ahí viene esa palabra. Huh? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. You know a lot of stories. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? Uh, I don't know why I, I like to read a lot. I, I love curiosity things. Oh. You, you know how like people people always spend time looking at TikToks. Uh huh. Uh, I like. <laughs> no, yes, no, but you know, I actually I do watch TikToks, pero like about history or or things like that, or I watch videos in YouTube. I mean, very interesting. Hmm. The uh, it's interesting. Yeah. You know, because of YouTube, I stopped reading. Before, like 10 years ago, I used to read a lot. I used to read many. I was always reading a book. But, uh -huh. like, you know, because I wanted to know the history of Kosovo or why Giza and Israel are always fighting. But now you just put that in YouTube. <laughs> you know, the, the conflict about about Giza 
Gaza, I'm sorry, not Giza, Gaza and Israel. And you have like hundreds of videos explaining. So, yes. So I started watching more videos and reading less books. Okay. Do you see my screen? Yeah. Yes. All right. Now we're going to say, I need a date. Oh. What is, I need a date? Maybe dating with someone. Joanna, do you still date with your husband? Yes, teacher. Creo que le comprendí. <laughs> Le Como una cita. ¿Aún van a cita con su esposo? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Only you two, right? Yes, only two. Okay, good. Yeah, that's a date. And a date also is not necessarily is not necessarily for for boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. A date can be for friends too. Por eso se llama, realmente es, tengo una fecha, no una cita. En inglés es, I have a date. With a doctor is appointment. Really? With a doc, yeah, with a doctor is appointment. Estoy orgullosa de mi letra. Estoy orgullosa de mi letra. Let's meet Susan. Okay, so... This video is about I need a date. So let's see what she says. Hi, let's begin by asking some questions. When, where, and how did you meet your wife, husband, or that special someone? Type your answers on our discussion box. As well, I want you to listen to the conversation and find out what Mike suggests James to do. I need a date. Part A. Listen and practice. This is so depressing. I haven't had a date since Angela broke up with me. What can I do? What about looking through the personal ads on the internet? That's how I met Amy. Actually, I've tried that. But the people you meet are always different from what you expect. Well, why don't you join an online dating service? A friend of mine met his wife that way. That's not a bad idea. Also, it might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. Yeah, if I don't meet someone, at least I might find a good book. What are some other good ways to meet people? What do you suggest? Share with us. In El Salvador, what do you think is a good way to meet people? Uh -huh. En Salvador, is to say, clavo saco otro clavo. No, no, no. no be, okay, in, in, in the video, we heard that they're talking about, you know, suggestions. Why don't you go online, go on this app, go here and, and meet people. But really, we don't do that in El Salvador, right? Mm, yeah. Oh, it's, really? People I do that? I don't think people do You can actually go online to meet people? I have, I have found people that text only to have a date. Uh, oh, really? And I have to block them. <laughs> yeah? yeah, no, yeah. Uh, Susana, there's there's a website for dating in El Salvador. Yeah, there's a bunch, but um, I'm trying to remember the name of one of them. Uh, you can meet people in uh, Tinder, actually, here in Salvador. There's a lot of people there. So there's like Tinder El Salvador? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. When, uh, when we were in the lookup uh, for the, for the uh, COVID, mm -hmm. I was so boring and I had nothing to do, so I... I, I I made an account on Tinder just to talk to people there. And there's a bunch of people. You can make uh, friends there. Hey, that's cool. That's nice. Yeah, but I, I don't think I would like to meet somebody on the internet. 
I don't know. For it's me, strange. You know, you know the good way meet people. You know, you know how I like to meet people huh. by by observing them. Yeah. Because really, when you meet somebody, the first month, three months is fake. Yeah. <laughs> it's so loud. Ah, it's yeah. everything good and happy. <laughs> you're the perfect girlfriend or you're the perfect boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, everything is fake. Yes. Hey, I went to church. The first three months. <laughs> can, you, can you imagine? <laughs> My brother did the same thing with her, with her, his wife. <laughs> yeah, but does your brother believe in God? Uh yeah, but not the same religion. But for her, was doing all this stuff for like six months or something like that, and then he just were he was like. Okay, you know, uh, I'm not like this, so whatever. <laughs> yeah. No, in my case, in my case, I don't believe in God. So um, I actually went to church because of my girlfriend, you know. And um, I I tried very hard because my friends, no, don't do that. <laughs> and she, hey, hey, a man it's has to burn. do. <laughs> yes, a man has to do what a man has to do. You know? Hasta creo que fui al, al... What is that called when people touch the cross and then they they get like epileptic attack? Uh, Santísimo. Well, you went to a Catholic church? Yes. Oh, okay. You were to the Santísimo. <laughs> yes, I, I went. That was, I, I didn't like that experience. It was ugly. <laughs> I have no idea what are you talking about. <laughs> there's there's this church in Miramonte, I think. And there's this part called Santissimo where they pick up a cross mm -hmm. and people touch it and they fall. What? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, it's 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 scary. It's it's not a very good experience, and you know people start shaking, and uh, and when I don't know why, when they touch that it's cross, they that. fall. Okay. So um, yeah, but you know what? I think my wife now really, I think she is a little atheist too. Creo que se está volviendo un poco atea también. No, because I, I really love to talk about religion with people who are open mind. Yeah. Yes. Because... No, because maybe maybe somebody can teach me something new. But normally it's always people that want to, oh, you're you're a poor soul. Fanatics. Yeah, normally it's fanatics. Yeah. Okay, so I think I wow, church, church is a good is a good way to meet girls. Oh no. <laughs> no, I mean I'm sorry, I mean it's a good way for girls to meet men. Oh <laughs> so no, because listen to the question of the video. What is another way you can recommend somebody to meet somebody? So, for example, I'm not going to tell a friend of mine, especially if she's a woman, do you know where you can find good men in a bar? No. No. <laughs> but yeah. neither in the church, because I have had experience, bad experience, really bad. Yes, but you see, you're, be you're being there, you're being very objective. Uh, subjective, I'm sorry. Uh, just in general. You know, like, gen um, if, if you generalize, if you meet people, I don't know. Oh, man, I I really love to go to, a, I don't know, Juan Valdez, a, a, a Starbucks or lo que sea, 
to drink a coffee and I see a woman reading a book alone. Oh, oh man, I love that. I love that woman. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think that's a good way to meet to meet people. So let's see the video here. Sure. By the end of this class, participants will make suggestions, gerunds, infinitives, modal, plus verbs, and negative questions. So let's see. Ready? In English, there are many ways to make suggestions. Grab a pen and paper and take so notes. Remember, we're remember, making suggestions. Remember, you the audio program and the explanation as necessary. Making suggestions. With gerunds. What about looking through the personal ads? Have you thought about joining an online dating service? With infinitives. It might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. One thing you could do is go to a discussion group at the bookstore. One thing you could do is to go to a discussion group at the bookstore. With modals plus verbs. Maybe you could go to a chat room on the internet. With negative questions. Why don't you join a dating service? Making suggestions is not... Here, let's do this with one example. Who is single here? Me. Okay, Irma. Tell me. Tell me, teacher, where where can I find a good date? Okay. Where can I meet someone? I'm sorry. Where can I meet someone? Where can I meet someone? <laughs> where can I meet someone? Teacher? Okay. <laughs> where can I meet someone? Let's do it with a gerund. You know, maybe going to church. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to give the, the church example para todos, para infinitives, modals, and negative questions. So you can see different ways of saying. So in this case, I said it with a gerund, okay? So ask okay. me again, Mirna. Okay, uh, teacher, where can I meet a good man a date for a day? Hmm. <laughs> I recommend you going to church. You will find a good person there. Okay. okay, now with infinitive. Okay. Mm -hmm. You Where? should go to church. You can find a good person there. With a modal. You can go to church. You can find a good person there. With a negative question. Why don't you go to church? <laughs> you can find a good person there. Do you see, I gave an example with a gerund, the same example with a gerund, infinitive, modal, and a negative question. Did you see that? Yes. Yes, see that. Noten que el negative question necesitan actitud para ese tipo de preguntas. Hey, why, why don't you go to church? You can find someone good there. Hey, ¿por qué no vas a la iglesia? Ahí pueden encontrar a alguien. Yes? Right. All right. Mm. <laughs> so, you, yeah. so basically, you can say you can say everything in in like this. Okay. Yes. Uh, but if I tell the truth, <laughs> because it was an example, but mm -hmm. is the truth. Sometimes people in the church are worse are the worst oh yes i mean yeah. <laughs> i'm yeah. sorry i have I I'm have sorry. Time. <laughs> <like that. laughs> no it's true it's true but you know really uh, to that type of question where can i meet someone it's very difficult to answer that question because you can you can meet the correct person in the in the least indicated moment in my case i have lost I have lost the hope, the esperanza. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. I think that I I never No, that that's the beautiful part then because you're not looking 
someday it will be in front of you. Just, just be ready to, to I don't know, for that 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 I don't know cheese by that thing. <laughs> Sometimes it happens. <laughs> the train is leaving me. <laughs> Yes, the train but is. The thing is that sometimes you're so um, used to it to be by yourself that when someone uh, get near to you to meet you or something, you're like, shoo, shoo, go away. <laughs> yeah, yes, away. But, but you know what? But also, what about if you meet somebody like that too? Somebody who really likes to be alone, but mm -hmm. maybe likes company sometimes. You know, um, there's an Adam Sandler movie. Yeah. Pero no, it's not a comic movie. It's it's like a drama movie. Which one? I forgot yeah. the name, but it's something related to that. He was like a in the movie, he was a dentist, and in an accident, he lost his wife and his son. So he became very he became very strange. Like he never went out. He was in his I was like, he became a little a little crazy mm -hmm. antipático yeah, and uh, los ex suegros de él, los suegros como se murió la, la hija they always try to help him like hey you should go and date and he says no no I'm, I'm happy like this I'm happy like this and one day he met a woman in the same situation that she was happy being alone and sometimes she enjoyed a good company. So it, it's a very good movie. I forgot the name. But it's it's a drama because eh, ¿cómo se llama este hombre? Adam Sandler, his comedy movies are terrible. But <laughs> his drama, his drama movies are good. So let's see. It's a good suggestion to watch a movie. Yeah. So let's let's see the answers because remember the portal always gives you different answers. So how can I build my self-confidence? Participate more in social activities. What could help me be happier? Plan fun activities to look forward to every week. How can I lose weight? Cut down. Remember, I used to cut down. Cut down on calories. Reduce the calories. <laughs> yes. But esa respuesta me cae mal. Porque es obvio, pues. O sea, I know it's calories, pero I think I think if you're a little bit more specific, hey, how can I lose weight? Cut down on sugar. Cut down on pan francés. Because everybody knows it's calories. <laughs> yeah. What can I do to save money? Come up with a budget. Yes, it's necessary. Every month. How can I how can I improve my memory? Play concentration games. How can I get along with my roommate better? Try not to get peeved about little things. What is the meaning of what is peeved? Peeve. Uh, peeve is like angry. Oh, it's a way to say mm -hmm. it. But you know what? I wouldn't recommend you to use it because it's not popular. Bueno, de hecho, okay. nunca lo habían oído hasta hoy, right? No, never. Eso dice mucho. Mm -hmm. So it can, casi no se usa. All right. Reading exercise, knowledge check. Did you do the reading? Yes, uh, I did. Yeah, I, I think it. I remember what. No worries. Let me, let me do the reading. Hold on. Let's read the questions. Look, your mind believes what you tell it so be positive about your memory okay 
So let me do the reading. It says, improve your memory, improve your life. Have you ever been embarrassed because you forgot something important? What kind of things do you have the most trouble remembering? Mark began to introduce the guest speaker to the audience, but then paused in horror. He had forgotten her name. <laughs> this is similar to el que va para candidato de arena. El pobrecito ese. Ya, ya, ya. No han seguido la historia de él. Nadie se puede el nombre. No, y hasta el mismo partido. Aquí está el nuevo candidato, el futuro presidente, José, Joel, Joel. No es pa, it's in YouTube, I promise you. Lo llevan a la radio. Entonces, dígame, señor José, Joel, Joel, perdón. O sea, por eso le, yeah, le dedican esa canción a... Um, Anacleto, na, 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 porque nadie sabía el nombre. Entonces, es, eso es lo que pasó aquí. Look, Mark began to introduce the guest speaker, al invitado. But then he paused in horror because he forgot her name. Barbara hid her jewelry when she went on vacation. When she came back, she couldn't remember where she'd put it. Perhaps, perhaps you have experiences like this. Most people have, and what's worse, most people have resigned themselves to a life of forgetting. They're unaware of simple but important fact. Memory can be developed. Ah. If you'll just accept the fact, this book will show you how. First, relax. If you're over anxious about remembering something, you will forget it. Relaxing will enhance your awareness and ability to concentrate. Take deep breaths and tell yourself that you have all the time in the world to remember. Second, avoid being negative. If you keep telling yourself that your memory is bad, your mind will come to believe it and you won't remember a thing. When you forget something, don't say, gee, I need to have my brain rewired. Jokes like this are negative and will have a negative effect on your memory. To improve your memory, you'll need to take an active role like your body. Your memory can be strengthened through exercise. Look for opportunities to exercise your memory. For example, if you're learning a language, try to actively remember irregular verbs. You may, uh, you may also want to make associations or links between what you're trying to remember and things you already know. For example, if you need to catch the plane at 2 p.m. No, if, if you need... If you, if you need to catch a plane at 2 p.m., you can imagine a plane in your mind and notice that it has two wings. Two wings, 2 p.m. You are now 10 times more likely to remember. To take off time. Yo hago eso. Like, for example, when I go to a, a parking, a parking, y veo B1, to remember, me pongo, okay, Baltrons número uno. Como mi apellido, Baltrons. Baltrons, number one. You know, I just so I remember. Y funciona, because, hey, ¿dónde estamos parqueados? En B1. Uh, I, 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 sometimes I remember. remember the same. I relate with words with another one. Yeah. You know what else is a, another very good exercise? Is try to use what you do every day with the other hand. For example, if you are right hand, you always open the door with the right hand, correct? Try to open the door with your other hand. When you brush your teeth, brush it with the other hand. So you're working the other part of your, of your brain. brain. Mm -hmm. So let me see that 
answers. It says, Se ha trabado. It does, it's not letting me answer. Okay, so what your mind believes, what you tell it, so be positive about your memory. In what paragraph is it? In paragraph three. three. If you train your memory actively, you'll be more likely to remember things. It's in paragraph four. Although we all forget things, there's always time to improve your memory. It's answer one in paragraph one. Learning to mentally connect pieces of information can help you remember is paragraph five. We forget things easily when we're worried about remembering them. Paragraph two. Hmm, interesting. And this is the last part. We could do this, watch. To finish this course, we want you to sit, relax, and watch the last video with us. Feel free to take notes as you watch it. Finally from us, the virtual office. For better or worse, technology and globalization are creating startling changes in what it means to be on the job. Betsy Stark is tracking the new order of business, and tonight begins our series, The Future of Work. Imagine a work world with no commute, no corporate headquarters, maybe no office in the physical world at all. For Bob Flavin, Janet Hoffman, and Joseph Jaffe, the future is already here. These days we do so much stuff by teleconferences and things um, that it doesn't matter where you are. Like 42% of IBM's 350,000 employees, Bob Flavin rarely comes into an IBM office. We don't care where and how you get your work done. We care that you get your work done. On the day we met him, he was collaborating with computer scientists in British Columbia and Beijing from the on-call room of his local ambulance corps, where he works as a volunteer. You are in 6031. The workforce at the Accenture management consulting firm is so mobile, not even the CEO has an office with his name on the door. There's no corporate headquarters. No. If you need a workspace, you reserve it like a hotel room, checking in and out at a kiosk. Having a big desk is a sign of status with lots of family photos and, uh, you know, and, and carpeting that's fluffy and nice. Is, uh, that is, is a vision of the past. Come on into the theater. In the future, more companies with scattered workforces and clients may do what the crayon marketing firm has done and make their headquarters in cyberspace. Here's our little rooftop. We had our holiday party here. Crayon's workers rarely meet in the physical world. I am uh, in Boston today. And I am on Long Island today. But their alter egos in the virtual world gather once a week. We're here in, uh, in our boardroom, and uh, you're here actually at the tail end of a status meeting. I never met Crayon's CEO in person. There you are. But we spent a couple of hours together in cyberspace. Our belief is that if we bring like minds together, no matter where they are in the world, we can actually create that connectedness as if we're actually here at the same place at the same time. If what matters is what you do, not where you are, who needs an office? Betsy Stark, ABC News, Crayonville in cyberspace. And tomorrow, imagine having summers off every summer. That is World News for this Monday. I'm Kate Snow. For Charles Gibson and all of us at ABC News, have a good evening. Good night. That video must be old because the avatars look terrible. Mm -hmm. Compared to now. So here is make a reference in time to the past. Hmm. How can we make a reference in time to the past? Let's see. Join us in the last section of this course. We want you to answer the following questions. Number one, do you know when World War I began? How long has the United Nations been in existence? How long were the Beatles together for? If you really know the answers, type them in. I'm good at history. Part A, listen and practice. Look. Here's a quiz on events of the 20th century. 
Oh, let me give it a try. I'm good at history. All right. First question. When did World War I begin? I think it began in 1917. Huh. And how long has the United Nations been in existence? Uh, since Kennedy became president in 1961. Hmm. Next question. How long were the Beatles together? Well, they started in 1965 and broke up in 1980, so they were together for 15 years. So, how am I doing so far? Not very well. Not one of your answers is correct. We want you to stay and listen to the rest of the conversation and find out the correct answers for the questions we asked at the beginning. So, what are the correct answers then? Well, World War I began in 1914 and ended in 1918. Oh, that's right. And the United Nations was formally established in 1945 following the end of World War II. And the Beatles? Well, they started back in 1960 and they broke up in 1970. So they were together for 10 years, not 15. Did I say I was good at history? Uh, I meant geography. <laughs> you see how everything was referenced to the past? Yes. So, we, for example, in Salvador, when was the earthquake? When was the uh, war with Honduras? Now, by the end of this class, participants will be able to refer time and past using different ways. So let's see here, how would this be? Hi, we want to go back in time. We will explain how we can refer to it. Don't go and stay for the explanation. Get ready. Referring to time in the past. A point of time in the past. When did World War II take place? During the 1940s. In the 1940s, over 60 years ago. A period of time in the past. How long were the Beatles together? From 1960 to 1970, for 10 years. A period of time that continues into the present. How long has the United Nations been in existence? Since 1945, since World War II ended. For about the last 60 years. When we want to talk about a point of time in the past, we may use the words in, ago, during. I will give you some examples using a timeline. Rock and roll became popular about 50 years ago. Disco became a craze in 1975. Madonna was on the music scene during the 1990s. Okay, so let's use ago when did you graduate you have to answer with a time i graduated 10 years ago 20 years ago i got married five years ago so listen hace cinco años que 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 país que que año era 18 okay yeah. so listen i got married Five years ago, I got married in 2018. You see the difference? A go is you're uh, saying the specific quantity. When you say in, you're being the specific time. And when you say during is during that time, for example, during the 80s, Michael Jackson maybe was the biggest pop star. Yeah. All right. Instructions, take a look and read the following paragraphs, the Beatles. Do you like the Beatles? Yes, I like them. Yeah. I love their, their music. Yes, they're, they're great. I just like one song. 
You just like one song from the Beatles? Yeah. Only one? Yeah. Which one? Ah, <laughs> uh, here's come the sun. Which one? Here's come the sun. Oh, here comes the sun. Oh, that one's good. That's the only one that I like. Yeah, that one's good. Okay, so let's do it. Look, rock music has been popular more than 50 years. The Beatles were well-known English band. The 1960s, they performed together 10 years. 1960, 1970, in 2003, the Beatles released another album. Even though two other original members had already died, the album was recorded. 1969, nearly 40 years ago. 2003, the United States launched two Mars explore, exploration spacecraft. Their mission, which lasted more than a year, was to gather information about the rocks, soil, and atmosphere on Mars using rovers called Spirit and Opportunity. The rovers functioned longer than anyone expected. Scientists thought they would last only for a month on Mars. What time they have sent back thousands of live pictures of the surface of Mars. O sea, bastantes palabras faltaron. So, what would be number one? In. Yeah. So, in. it has been popular in more than 50 years. Number two, the answer is during. Number three is for, from. Well, hagámoslo más fácil. You understand in, right? Yes. In the 80s. Noten que no estoy hablando de un específico año, mes, ni nada. Estoy diciendo in the 80s. I am generalizing. During es durante ese tiempo mm -hmm. from y to okay from y to from is the beginning and to is the end I studied the university from 2000 to 2004 in otra vez lo mismo I go it's when it's an action that finished in the past. Uh, the action started and the action finished. Two years ago. Yes, yeah, no mimos for and sense. Vocabulary: the luxury ship Titanic sank in the North Atlantic Ocean in 1912. Disaster. Think disaster. it's a disaster? Okay. The cellular telephone was developed in Sweden about 25 years ago. Invention. Invention, awesome. Four planes were hijacked in the United States on September 11, 2001. Terrorism. Terrorist attack. In 2003, a dinosaur with feathers and four wings was found in China. Discovering. Discovery. Milagro no se lo comieron. Who knows? Ayer vi un meme, esta semana vi un meme que decía, hey, algún chino que se coma otro murciélago, ya no quiero trabajar. <laughs> this, since the late 70s, HIV has infected estimated 58 million people. Epidemic. Epidemic. U.S. President John F. Kennedy was shot to death in 1963. Assassination. Assassination, also. In 1953, Sir Edmund Hillary and Sherpa Tinsing, Norway, were the first to reach the summit of Mount Everest. Achievement. Achievement. We are cool. We're good. Now, <laughs> future perfect. Let's see the future perfect. How does with will? It doesn't, but I keep on my will have. 
I will have, okay? Ready to predict the future with me? We will do so by using will, won't, future continuous, and future perfect. Don't forget to study and practice with a friend. Predicting the future with will. Use will to predict future events or situations. Computers will recognize any voice command. You won't need a keyboard. Use future continuous to predict ongoing actions. People will be living in cities under the ocean. Use future perfect to predict actions that will be completed by a certain time. Within 20 years, scientists will have discovered a cure for baldness. By 2050, we will have set up human communities on Mars. There are many ways to describe the future in English. This time, we will go over three future tenses. Number one, will, won't, plus base verb. Computers will recognize any voice command. You won't need a keyboard. Number two. That we're doing continuous in this moment. Will be plus present participle. People will be living in cities under the ocean. Robots will be performing most factory jobs. Number three. Future perfect. Will have plus past participle. Within 20 years, scientists will have discovered a cure of baldness. By the 2050, we will have set up human communities on Mars. It is important for you to know that future continuous describes an ongoing action, and future perfect describes something that will be completed by a specific time. Note, future perfect needs a date or time of completion, for example, within 20 years, by 2025. Let's discuss this question. Which three jobs will people not be doing in 50 years? Let me give you an example with that one. My my uncle, he bought an apartment here in El Salvador in San Benito. Mm -hmm. And um, I, don't, I think the building is going to be 80 apartments or 100 apartments. He, and all the apartments are sold. But you know what the problem is? Mm -hmm. The building doesn't exist. <laughs> The, I mean, the building is being constructed. So by the year 2025, I think, the building will have been completed. Two years from now? Hmm. Well, you know, yeah, maybe two, because this was like two years ago or... or and I haven't passed by the building, so maybe there's an advance now. But you see what it says here? When you use future perfect, you have mm -hmm. to say a, a beginning time and an end. All right. Okay, cool. Now let's check. In 10 years, flight from New York to Tokyo will take less than two hours. Soon they will sell computers that can translate perfectly from one language to another. Eso ya se ve. And it's not a computer, it's an application. Sometimes in the future, scientists will invent or will be inventing or will have invented a machine that transmits our thoughts. That's scary. Within 50 years, people will live on the moon. I think that's difficult. In less than a century, global warming will have melted. Most polar ice caps and Many coastal cities will have disappeared or melt. So let's do the listening here, okay? 
Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Ugh, Frank. I really need to get in shape, but I'm having trouble deciding what's the best plan for me. Well, what about going to the community swimming pool, Sandy? It's a nice pool and just down the street from your place. Actually, I've tried that already and it didn't work for me. I was too tired to swim after working all day. Then why don't you join that new fitness center near your office? You could go during your lunch hour. I don't know. I've joined gyms before and I always stop going for one reason or another. They're a waste of money if you're a member but never go. Well then, I think you've got a predicament. Two. Hey, Sandy, what about getting a personal trainer? Hmm, I never thought of that before. A trainer can help you in two ways. You know, help you get in better shape and keep you motivated. Well, do you know where I can find one? You can probably find ads for trainers on the web. Sure, but I'd rather get a recommendation. You know, from someone who's had one. Oh, I just remembered. My cousin Rachel had a trainer and she really thought he was great. I remember. Then she ran in the Boston Marathon. Amazing. I'll get her number from you then. Three. Hey, Pam, did you see those photos that were sent from the two rovers on Mars? Yes, isn't it exciting? I love space exploration. Me too, but a lot of it happened before I was born, back in 1985. How long have we been exploring space? Well, the so-called space race really began during the early 1960s, when I was a kid. And ever since, I've really been fascinated by space travel and exploration. Yeah. But I think space travel is finished for now, don't you? Oh, no, Jerry. The future holds a lot of possibilities for space research and travel, and who knows? Four. Okay. Well, Pam, do you think by 2050 we will have set up human communities on Mars? Probably not. But perhaps by then people will have bought land on the moon and started building homes on it. No, really? Yes, and those little rovers will be continuing to perform their research on Mars and other planets, too. Scientists will be able to use even bigger robots to do almost anything, like building cities in space. I guess you're right. Just think of our International Space Station. Yes, I think that robots and astronauts will be performing amazing things in the future. And I think all that's happening now. Okay, so Sandy wants to meet new people. Frank suggests? Join a new fitness center. A new fitness center. A new fitness center is good. Sandy can get a recommendation for a personal trainer. From Frank's, from Frank's cousin Rachel. Frank's cousin Rachel, awesome. Jerry thinks that space travel? It's finished. Uh, it's, finished. it's what? It's finished for now. Okay. Pam thinks? People will build homes on the moon. True. Okay, let's correct the mistakes. Correct the mistakes in each sentence or question. You need to type the complete sentence. Do not forget capitals and periods. Do you know where I can get someone to cut my hair? What is the correct? Do you know where I can get? Yes, no where I can get. This is the correct. I can get. Here, let me show you the answers. You already um, done this, I imagine. Do you know where I can get? So this is the correct. This is not correct. You can have your car fixed at an auto repair shop. You can have your car fixed. At, you know, fixed. In past, yes. Do you know where Eliza can have her driver's license renewed? 
and it's actually renewed. Oh, renewed. But I did like this in the system. Put bad, bad score, and I did like. Really? Why. Here, I'll put it on the chat. And literally. You can copy paste porque si lo puse. If it's bad, then the, the, the platform was having a problem. Okay. Okay. You can get leather boot shines at Joe's shoe shop. Shined. Shined. Awesome. Part two, it says, thank you for coming up coming. with a great solution for the problem. Good. Sam had to get science, uh, science tutor. He couldn't the other students in chemistry class he couldn't keep up with. Mm, Michelle has... I don't remember what it... Keep up with? Yeah, I don't remember. Is the level, to be at that level. Ah, uh, yes, I yeah. remember. Okay, good. The sample that you yeah. mm -hmm. Michelle has... Cut down Cut on down. sugar fat. She lost over 15 pounds. Awesome. Here, let's see, complete the sentences. I have problem with uh, two of them. Okay. Here's the correct answers. Look, it might be a good idea. A website discussing groups. So it might be a good idea to check out. Mm -hmm. One thing she could do is try or to try to recharge the battery. Number three, what about bringing it all to the cell phone repair shop? Part two, Vincent van Gogh died in 1890, more than 100 years ago. Disco was popular, was a popular, wait, disco was a popular from form of music from 1978 to the 80s, 1980. Spinning was popular, was a popular type of exercise in the 2000s or during the 2000s. People have been using home computers since the 1980s. Sophisticated robots will replace many factory workers in the near future. Tablet computers will be used in every home. You won't need a keyboard because they all be in touch screen activated. Eso ya se está dando. Later in this century, people won't be living in houses that are heated with oil. Within 50 years, scientists will have discovered a cure for common cold. Y eso es cierto, nadie ha descubierto la, para la gripe, for the, uh -huh. just a normal. Teacher, so uh, uh, in the bar three, I have the number three and four wrong, but uh, I put this, uh, I um, write down the same answer that you just said. And so the, wrong. Yeah, so the, 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 the platform is... Oh, it's the platform then? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, read the ads. The Blaster 620. The Blaster 620 is a new, flu new cell phone that will be able to do almost everything. A user wants 
It has instant messaging, a built-in camera, games, and the ability to send and receive digital files. Of course, you can also use it to make phone calls. It's perfect for people who will be typing a lot of text messages. It has tiny keyboards that fold out when you need it. Going camping. Do you plan to take your cell phone, laptop, MP3 player, or any other electro electronic device? Here's just the thing you'll need, the solar fed feed. It's a tiny solar panel that you can take with you anywhere. It weighs less than a pound, but it generates plenty of power. Just place it in the sun and plug in your phone, computer or order or other device. What a technology technolo <laughs> what a technological achievement. What's the latest and coolest invention? The easy screen. It's for you. It looks like a pair of fashionable sunglasses, but when you look through the lenses, you see a small screen about three feet away. You can watch movies and download your favorite music videos. Perfect for traveling in style. That's crazy. I would not like to have that. <laughs> so what does the blaster have? Of, uh, the blaster has a fold-out keyboard for easy uh, typing. True. Yeah. Look, it has a tiny keyboard that folds out. And this is the blaster. The blaster won't be able to do all the, uh, to do things like instant messaging. False. False. The solar feed must be plugged into an electrical socket. False. False. The solar feed can keep your MP3 batteries recharged in the wilderness. True. True. The eye screen is just a fancy pair of sunglasses. Nice. True. Nice. You can watch your favorite video while wearing the ice uh, the ice cream. Yes. It's false. It looks like a pair of fashionable sunglasses. But when you look through the lenses, oh man. Okay. Pero it is a pair of sunglasses. Yes. <laughs> no uh. worries. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Yeah, these people are crazy. And that's it. That was the last one. Yay. But remember, uh, I understand that. Remember, if sometimes if the platform is not correct, it's, may, it's maybe not you that is not correct, it's the platform. It always has a glitch. Okay, mm -hmm. so don't worry about that. Okay, then, class, thank you very much. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Irma, I wish the best for you, you. in your thank job. You. <laughs> I know that you will get it. <laughs> thank you. All right. Tell me, tell me when you pass, please. I want to, I want to know. Yeah. And uh, everyone, yeah. Okay. And uh, Laura, someday I want to eat your panes con chicken. I hope to. Okay. When, when they are in pedidos, yeah, tell me, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got to sell your cell phone. Okay, good. Yes, yes. If you ever have any questions, please write to me. But I recommend you to write to me di uh, private di directly because mm -hmm. if you write in the group chat, what happens is that sometimes I open my cell phone in three hours and I see like 50 conversations in the chat. And I don't know if one is for me or not, but if you, if you message me directly, what does it say? It's a PM, PM, or DM. Do you know that expression? PM, DM, DM, direct message. Direct message and PM is private message. Oh. So you can say DM me or PM me. Both are correct. Cool. Okay, okay, class. Bye bye. Yeah. Thank you. Have a Thank wonderful so weekend. Much. Have a thank wonderful you. weekend and thank you so much. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Good night.